Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World, episode number eight. In this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to two brand new products from the Hunter Line Company. That's a Canadian bunch. These are wood kits. One is a wood tunnel portal and the other one is a retaining wall. Both of them can be built a little bit differently depending upon your particular specifications. Now when you look in the pack, it just looks like a bunch of sticks. That's because it is just a bunch of sticks. And of course you're going to take all of those sticks and make them into exactly what you want for your layout. Now as far as glue goes, generally speaking, I like to use Elmer's White Household Glue. That's what my choice is for the wood kits. You can use a clipper like this to cut your wood, but my personal favorite tool is a chopper too from the Northwest Shortline folks. There is no better tool for making repetitive, accurate cuts for wood, plastic, that high density paper stuff. All those things will work really well with this. Directions, oh yes, lots of directions come with these Hunterline kits. And my personal favorite are these blueprint style sheets that I like to build these different Hunterline kits right on. And these kits, you can make them any number of different ways. You don't have to make them exactly the way the picture shows. So that's easy. Now the way you build these kits right on top of them, I like to use double-sided sticky tape, put it right on anywhere the glue is going to come in contact with. And I like to cut all the pieces at once so I have all the correct sizes ready to go. It makes for construction much faster and much easier. Just don't mix them up. Alright, let's get down to construction. You cut these little pieces of wood, put them right on the double-sided tape, and you're working from the back forward. And then you put the supports on the front. Just make sure everything is square and straight as you're putting it together. One of the things you want to be careful of is when you take these pieces off of the blueprint, off the paper, off the double-sided tape, be very careful with it because they're very fragile. Now that's the tunnel portal. And here's the retaining wall. Remember that you can make these a number of different ways. Kind of depends on what you want to do, what you want to end up with. This particular one, I have a hillside that's kind of moving down. And once again, just like on the portal, start from the back, work your way forward. Let's talk a little bit about coloring. The Hunter Line Company, among other things, has a full line of liquid coloring materials. And then I add a little bit of my dry weathering powder for a little bit of highlight here and a little bit of color there. So here's the one I made. Here's the picture that comes with the packet. What do you think? Looks pretty much the same. I like this particular kit. This is a good one. So that's the tunnel portal and here's the retaining wall. I really like the way the wall came out. So let's see what it looks like compared to the picture that comes with it. Yeah, a little bit different but hey it's just the color that's different. And conveniently, these two kits go right together. Look at that. They fit right together, and that's how I put it on my layout. Well, thanks for joining me here at episode number eight, dealing with two new products from the hum Hunter Line Company. Have fun with your trains. Come back and visit me again sometime soon. Bye, guys.